Hey boys, it's Harm None. In today's video, we are going to be finding out what happens when you max out the acceleration bar and keep applying upgrades to the cars. Now, spoiler alert, I already know what happens here because I've tested it before, but the reason that I'm making this video is because I've got way too many comments in the last couple weeks here telling me, bro, you're wasting money in the top gear challenges on additional upgrades like turbos, transmissions, when the acceleration bar is already maxed. Now I have a life hack for you here. Never trust a bar graph in a video game that has to do with cars ever because it will completely lie to you every single time. There's too many variables for these bar graphs to always be accurate. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and test this right now. I've got the Dubachi Wagner here. This car is completely stock. So we're gonna take it to Los Angeles Customs right now. We're then going to go and apply an engine upgrade to it just high enough to get it to the point where the bar graph is seemingly maxed out and where no additional upgrades will help the car to be any faster. So let's go ahead and apply this. We're going to go over to the runway now. We're going to drag race this thing down the runway. Then we're going to come back to Los Santos Customs and we're going to upgrade it further and see if there's any sort of a difference. All right, so here we are at the runway. Let's go ahead and launch this thing. So as you guys see, we made it to the end of the runway. Uh, it was seemingly pretty fast. Uh, now we're going to go back to Los Santos Customs, so let's head over there and apply this next engine upgrade, which of course won't do anything because the bar graph is already maxed out, guys, right? So let's go ahead and put this on. And then we're going to overlay the footage when we get back to the runway here, and we're going to see if there's any sort of a difference. So as you guys can see, the second time that I did the run, it was a little bit faster because I did put that additional engine upgrade. So it almost seems like the bar doesn't max out at the end. Anyways, let's go ahead and throw the transmission on here and we're gonna see if that makes any sort of a difference as well. So let's give this a shot. All right, we got the transmission upgrade as you guys can see right here. Let's head back to the airport. All right, and let's, uh, let's run this. Wow, it was even faster. Okay, let's go to Los Santos Customs again, and we're gonna upgrade this thing with the turbo option. Now, while we drive back to Los Santos Customs here, I am just gonna talk to you guys a little bit. If this is your first time seeing a video of mine, I do a Top Gear Challenge video uh, pretty much weekly with some of my friends, where we'll take three cars in a certain category or three cars at a certain price point and pit them against each other. And usually we will have a budget as well to go with it to make things a little bit more interesting. Now, another comment that I've been getting a lot is that armor is worthless to have on cars in GTA, ah, da, 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 da. The reason that I have armor on my cars is because it adds no weight to the car. It does not change anything about the car's handling or performance whatsoever. It only prevents the car from being damaged or destroyed when you crash. So if I slam into a tree and I have 100% armor on the car versus no armor on the car, the one with armor is going to survive a lot better and have less handling hindrances uh, than the car that does not have armor. For example, like if you hit your front right wheel uh, or your front right fender on a tree with armor versus without armor, your steering is going to be way worse on the car with no armor. So that's why I put the armor on my vehicles. And just to prove a point, we're actually gonna go ahead and run back to Los Santos Customs after we do this drag race and throw 100% armor on the car to see if there's any sort of a difference between having armor versus having no armor on the car. Okay, so here we are at the drag strip. 
We got the turbo on here, we got the transmission, and we have the full engine upgrade on this vehicle. Let's see if it's faster, and then once we're done this one, we're gonna compare all of the vehicles, and then we're gonna go put the armor on, and then we're gonna compare all four of the vehicles. So let's go ahead and run down the runway here. Okay, and it was it was fast. Yes, shocking, I know. Okay, Los Angeles Customs, let's go ahead and put that armor upgrade on. That is a complete waste of money, apparently. I felt like I needed to make this video because uh, I needed to set the record straight because I've got way too many comments telling me to stop, you know, buying armor, stop buying additional upgrades once the bar is maxed out, everything like that. And it's not just in the Top Gear videos, it's in a lot of the videos that I do. And I think that there's just a lot of misinformation or very outdated information in GTA because I remember I used to hear that if you put armor on your car that they would be slower. And I also remember hearing that if the acceleration bar was maxed out, it didn't do anything. I also remember hearing that spoilers didn't do anything in GTA, all of which is completely not true. That none of that information is true. None of it ever was true as far as I know either, because why would they randomly change, you know, these things like two, three years into the game cycle? Doesn't really make any sense. So this is the way that it has literally always been in GTA. So, you know, that, that's that. Uh, let's go ahead and throw the armor on the car and then we're going to go back to the drag strip and we're going to run it one more time. So let's go ahead and do this. You, you can see there's little to no difference between having armor and no armor on the vehicle, uh, but you can see that there is a huge difference in having only the acceleration bar to the max versus having it actually maxed out with a full engine, full transmission, full turbo. One of the cars is way faster than the other one. So. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that this can uh, kind of quell some of the misinformation that's going on in GTA um, about armor and engine upgrades and acceleration bars and top speed bars and everything like that. All the bar graph stuff is completely false. Uh, the only thing that really matters is when you put a spoiler on the car, if, the, if, the, if you see the little blue increase bar on the traction, that does actually help and that will actually make a difference on most cars. Some are broken, so keep that in mind. Please, if you see somebody in a comment section going on about you know some of this garbage and saying that acceleration bar actually matches, it, just, just link them to this video and just just help me out here because we, we, need, we gotta get the community involved here and we gotta make people understand that this is what goes on uh, with the acceleration bars in GTA. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, if not dislike. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and I will see you all in the next one. Until then, take care. Peace.